Shiva Thakur from Kamal School, Jorhat. I'm representing the state Assam and I'm participating in the 16th National Children's Science Congress held at Dimapur. My topic is Impact of Human Activities on Climate Change, a case study in Jorhat district. It falls under the sub-theme Atmosphere. Now the Earth's climate is changing through a long-term natural cycle. But in the recent decades, the scientists are more concerned because the climate change is speeded up due to various human activity factors. Scientists have also predicted that the global temperature would rise by 1.4 degrees Celsius to 5.8 degrees Celsius by the year 2100. So accordingly, this study was taken up in Jorhat district to study the magnitude of climate change, study the impact of human activities and identify the possible effects of climate change. So long term 85 years of temperature data from 1923 to 2007 and 107 years of raw rainfall data from 1901 to 2007 were collected from Tokla Experimental Station and Assam Agriculture University, Jorhat. So apart from these, uh, we used various other uh, primary and secondary data for the analysis. This raw data was analyzed by us by using calculator and computer and was used for drawing up various conclusions. So the long term data were divided into two periods, pre-1975 and post-1975 for all comparison purposes. This division was made according to the opinion of a few elderly people who suggested that the impact of human activities on climate change started since late 70s. Now the results. The annual average temperature increased by 0.23 degrees Celsius in period 2 over period 1. Here, all the seasons recorded an increase in the temperature um, except the pre-monsoon season. Since average temperature is the average of maximum and minimum temperatures, we studied both the maximum and minimum temperatures separately and we found that the maximum temperature over Jorhat increased by 0.2 degrees Celsius in period 2 over period 1. Here, all the seasons recorded an increase in the temperature. Uh, now, similarly, the minimum temperature also increased by 0.26 degrees Celsius in period 2 over period 1. Here, all the seasons recorded an increase in the temperature. Uh, the decadal temperature was also studied and we found that the decadal temperature was continuously higher than 1923-75 mean since 1951-60. Since increase in minimum temperature indicates climate change over a place, we made a prediction and we found that the minimum temperature in the coming decade would be 19.08 degrees Celsius which would be uh, 0.63 degrees Celsius higher than 1923-75 mean. Now the rainfall analysis. The annual rainfall decreased by 289.1 mm in period 2 over period 1. Here all the seasons recorded a decrease in the rainfall and the highest was recorded uh, the highest decrease was recorded in the mon monsoon season which hampers the cultivation of salipedi and tea in Jorhat district. The decadal temperature was continuously lower than 1901-75 mean since 1951-60. We made another prediction and we found that the average rainfall in the coming decade would be 1800 mm, a shortfall of 366 mm than 1901-75 mean. So all these evidences presented here establish that climate over Jorhat is gradually changing in the recent decades. Uh, so these changes cannot be accounted for by uh, various natural factors. There may be various human activity factors associated with this change. So attempt was made to, su to study some of the possible human activity factors. So now the population of Jorhat increased from 3.8 lakhs in 1941 to about 10 lakh in 2001. This increased population demanded more basic facilities and consumed more fossil fuel which contributed to the release of greenhouse gases. Automobiles burned fossil fuels and released greenhouse gases. The total number of vehicles on road increased from about 12,000 in 1980-21 to about 1 lakh in 2007-2008. to The increased number of vehicles consumed more fossil fuel and contributed to the release of greenhouse gases. Liquidified petroleum gas came to Jorhat as a cooking medium in 1972. Nowadays, almost every household uses uh, LPG for cooking, the burning of which contribute to the release of greenhouse gases. There are about 100 tea factories and 160 other factories, including the brick kilns in Jorhat district. Most of these factories use coal as a source of energy, the burning of which contribute to the release of greenhouse gases. 
Jorhat district lost about 7,501 hectares of forest land uh, during 1980-81 as a result of very, uh, rapid urbanization and other developmental works. If from this present study, climate change can be predicted globally, then the possible effects are Heavy rains and droughts are likely. This means that there is the possibility of heavy and sudden downpour. But this does not mean that the annual rainfall will increase, but rather it's, it's going to decrease. And this is what we have observed from our study. Uh, there would be decrease in the availability of soil moisture for agriculture, decrease in the crop productivity as a result of the rise in temperature and the fall in the monsoon rains, reduced fertilizer use efficiency, Biodiversity is likely to be affected. Since climate change is likely to affect the quality of fruits and vegetables, their prices will also be affected. More pathogens and insect attacks, increased human health problem, and most importantly, the immigration problem in the Northeast is likely to increase as a result of the inundation of low-lying coastal areas of Bangladesh due to the rise in the sea level. Now, solution to the problem. Judicious use of fossil fuel, more use of public vehicles, proper maintenance of vehicles, use of carbon neutral technology in different sectors, careful use of electricity, increased use of renewable resources like solar power, hydro power, etc. Uh, less use of polythene, massive afforestation program, avoidance of misuse of paper, adjustment in the crop production system and massive awareness campaign. We also conducted a similar awareness campaign at Gopal Chandra Prathamik Vidyalaya Digambar Chok Jorhat in the month of September to create awareness regarding this burning topic among the children. How did you get interested into this area? So now global warming it is it's a current it's a burning topic right now and we have been hearing uh, hearing about that in in various print media so uh, uh, and that's why I I uh, I've been hearing it uh, about global impact of global warming in different places so I just wanted to test whether is it really uh, happening in in our hometown in my hometown so I just wanted to uh, do a test and that is why I've chosen uh, my study area to be Jorhat and I, I uh, took this as my project and moreover I'm very much interested in environmental education I would like to pursue that uh, in my future also so uh, I took up this project that was great Mandavi I would also like to know since you have carried out such a project uh, your experience can we take it to the enlarge it and take it more to the masses and it can help us in our nation's impact of global change understanding that impact of the global change in the national form see these are the these are the things that i have brought up brought to the people people that the uh, like for example in my project i've said that the temperature has increased and in my in my study area the temperature has increased and rainfall has decreased so this is this is that uh, like this is for the people they need to be aware that the climate is climate change is 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 happening in their hometown so we need to take up steps at the personal level also so like uh, um, like uh, we need to aware the people so awareness is a must so unless and until the people are aware of it we cannot we cannot stop the uh, stop the That's climate change true. and uh, for example like global warming it's we cannot stop the global warming because it is beyond our limits but we can at least delay the process of global warming we can take up certain measures at a personal level and uh, we can we, we can delay the process and that's why that's that's going to be a great step towards climatic change did you take help of any books or any relevant literature available on such study or gone to any library or internet surfing yeah i did internet surfing i took a book i took help of a book uh, that is the name of the book is ways of the Be uh, weather by p a menon and uh, there was a lot of uh, uh, reading material provided by my guide Okay. Who guided you? Uh, Rajiv Lushan Deka. He's, uh, he's an assistant professor at Assam Agriculture University. This activity is rather remarkable. Nothing like this has happened earlier. No doubt, I don't think it happens elsewhere. Uh, it's very much a part of the, the, the children's national curriculum framework oh which, on which NCRT worked. Oh which means that the education is the जिसका आसपास की जिंदगी से ताल्लुक हो साथ में और आपस में विषयों का भी ताल्लुक हो तो ये बच्चे जो काम करते हैं अपने हाथ से दोस्तों के साथ मिलके अपने इलाके में पर्यावरण हो या और कोई समस्या हो पानी की हो या कुछ हो तो खोज जो करते हैं वहाँ से सीखते हैं और पर्यावरण के बारे में सीखते हैं आसपास के बारे में सीखते हैं बच्चों के साथ और लोगों के साथ एक साथ कैसे काम करना ये बहुत अहम चीज है विज्ञान पढ़ने में। Do you 
think you would like to be a scientist in the future years to come? Yeah, I would like. I'm very much interested um, in that field and I would definitely try my level best to be a successful scientist in my future. And since you want to pursue your career as a science, I mean, as a scientist and you want to work on environmental education, you may contact the Department of Science and Technology, Government of India, who will provide you with better facilities and may give you some financial assistance so that you can pursue your career. Thank you so Thank much. Thank you so much.